Hello my friends, in this case we want to modeling a fountain. Okay, I go to perspective viewport and I want to draw a star and click shift J4 hiding or disable the selection brackets. Go to uh, modify panel and set the parameters uh, radius 1 equal 150 radius 2 120 and fillet radius 1 uh, set it to 20 and uh, fillet radius 2 set it to 20 convert it to a table spline go to spline mode select this spline and in the front viewport hold shift key and uh, clone it in this position and go to uh, top viewport select the uh, scale tool and hold shift key and again uh, clone it in this position and go to front viewport and hold shift key and move it to this position for our uh, fountain uh, floor again go to top viewport hold a shift key and with the scale uh, clone it and again go to front viewport hold shift key and move it to this position and again clone it and again clone it so we have to the shape here i select this shape and go to top viewport and with the scale i want to scale it in this position okay we have these shapes here uh, turn off the subject mode go to modify list and select the cross section and set it to smooth we have this object here and go to modifier list and uh, select the surface modifier to this object you can see we have this fountain here but we don't have the walls here for uh, second part of the fountain uh, turn off the surface and cross section modifiers go to spline mode select this spline and hold shift key and scale it in this position and again go to uh, front viewport hold shift key and again clone it in this position okay turn off the editable spline mode and turn on the uh, cross section and surface modifier you can see we have these beautiful walls here so I want to create the uh, surface of the water. Uh, again, go to spline mode, turn off the this uh, uh, modifiers. Go to spline mode, select this spline of the floor, two splines, and again select uh, this uh, shape here. Uh, I want to clone uh, in two parts, so I deselect this part and only select this uh, two splines here. In the geometry panel, I go to detach and I turn on the copy and detach these objects uh, to name the water one. Okay, and select this object or the spline and detach it to name water 2 okay uh, turn off the subject mode and turn on the modifiers so again select this object here and this object here and isolate them You can see we have two shapes here convert them to a table poly and you can see we have these surfaces here uh, turn off the isolate mode select this object and change its color so you can see we have these objects here select the 
surface of the water one and move it to this position and select the uh, water this water and set this position to this uh, position but you can see we have a gap here for solve this problem go to uh, border mode select this border and only scale it in x and y axis in this mode and you can see we have this object here okay set this position and turn off the sub object mode you can see we have this beautiful fountain here and in the last part i want to uh, set some gaps uh, some caps here and here uh, i convert it to a table poly go to border mode select these borders and click gap cap here and you can see we have this surface here and here turn off subject mode and turn off isolate mode uh, you can uh, set the uh, some uh, bumpiness to your water in uh, your render engine if you use uh, corona or V-ray, you can set the material of the water and in the bump map you can uh, add some bumpiness for your waters i hope you enjoyed this tutorial If you like it, subscribe our channel in YouTube and follow our page in Instagram. Thanks a lot. See you in the next lesson.